Alright guys, welcome back to another video. It's probably been a little bit, what I'm trying to do is post fortnightly, so it's a lot more consistent video uploads. So I'm trying to do a Monday, 6pm, every fortnight, so pretty much two videos a month, so you definitely get the videos and content out there. Anyway, we're going to get into a canopy build. Exciting because I get to plan out everything like I want it. So, I'm thinking for this, obviously it's pretty empty at the moment. I can't forget, I've actually installed the speaker already. And the Switch Pro box, so that's all I've done. But I've already kind of semi-mapped it all out. And I'm wanting to have a pantry, so I've kind of nuts of that in. A fridge, upright fridge, and also like a little kitchen area. So I went online, pretty much I went online and then decided to find what suited the measurements to suit this canopy. Got it close to the size, then pretty much put it in. And if there's any gaps, I'll just infill them with like aluminium and then powder coat of black as such to make it look nice and neat. But anyway, away from that, I'm gonna get started to start mapping out this canopy, like where the battery's gonna go, etc. So here we go. So the battery's now installed, so I ended up going with a 240 amp lithium battery. So pretty much there from Hardcore, five years warranty. I can see everything from my phone. Now the reason I went with this one is because it's got a high discharge rate. And for instance, if anyone doesn't know what that means, I can now run a 2000 watt inverter efficiently. Um, so I can run the max 2000 watts. It won't damage the battery. It won't damage my cycle life, etc. So that's why I did go for this version. Um, when you are choosing your batteries, um, it's obviously AGM or lithium, it's whatever like price market you want to spend, but in saying that, this is, I think it's like 17 kilos for this 240 amp, which is extremely light. But anyway, battery's now installed, strapped in, won't be doing any flips if I do end up taking this car for a big old nap. Um, but anyway, that's that done, I'm going to get into installing the drawers now, and pantry now. Another thing as well, not cert guns will be your friend for canopy builds. They are great for bolting in pretty much everything in a canopy. So with this draw here, obviously I'll just get like pretty much a one meter length draw and then just the fridge will go on the corner. And then from here I can divide the draw, have some for camera gear, clothes, whatever it may be. And then in internal lighting, um, just got some speakers as well. So I'm gonna mount the speakers on the roof as well. And then my, I'm going to plan to have my electrical board on this side. So have like my chargers, my inverter, my AC charger. So that's this side. But anyway, I've got to go have a look at what drawers I can get. Alright, so canopy update now. So pretty much we've got the my kitchen set up as such and the pantry. So the pantry is pretty cool. So I can have all my stuff in there. Bloody Barbie sauce, Barbie sauce, Barbie sauce, Barbie sauce, and salt and salt. Don't need none of that tomato sauce around here. And then obviously I can adjust these to suit of what I'm putting in here for the pantry side of things. Away from that, got the slide out kitchen as such, well, I'm gonna make it a kitchen. So I have to slide out, put all my um, like cooking gear in here as such, and then also, this slides out to be a table. So I don't need to carry a table no more. 
So that extends right out. So I'm pretty much at the end of my garage now. So I can just cook on here. Maybe having even induction recessed in here. Not sure yet. I'll see how we go. And then from there, we've got the speaker in now. It's just 12 volt as well, Bluetooth. And the 240 volt amp battery. All right, well, my bloody GoPro died when I was adding bits and pieces to the canopy. Back to what I was saying. Awesome for pies, sausage rolls, you know, even pizzas. Rock up camp, turn it on, preheat it, and then be ready by dinner. So that'd be pretty cool. 12 volt, and I'm pretty sure they only use like eight amps, and they're not massively bad. And then for your toasties in the morning. So this is 240 volt, obviously. How many watts is this? Oh, here we go. It is a thousand watt. So I reckon that roughly be using around 80 amps per hour. So 15 minutes. That's, uh, I've got no idea, but anyway, let's put it in the cafe. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to head to the biggest car parts store, I reckon, which is called Bunnings. Um, I've got to get something here to space up this fridge. But, how good does the rig look without the canopy? Let me know in the comments what looks better. That, with no canopy, or with the canopy on? I'm off to Bunnings to go grab bits and pieces. Uh, also thought I'd let you guys know that I ended up making my first one dollar off YouTube, so... Hey, Don, can I get one large frozen Coke, thanks? <laughs> Alright, now all the flooring's in, I ended up doing a just a timber flooring this time. Um, one, because it doesn't bow like the metal was doing because it didn't have any packers under it. And um, two, I can actually screw it in so I can make this panel for the fridge so there's no a massive gap there. And I can also stick my flooring to that and that as well. But anyway, I might as well chuck the flooring in, show you guys what I decided to go with because this stuff is pretty cool. All right, so I ended up doing a deck armor. It's actually boat flooring. So it's pretty much all the sand, mud, shit will just clean straight off this stuff. Easy as to work with, it's just glue down. So all I've got to do is cut it out neatly and then just glue, um, and just also just peel the sticky backing off. Let's talk about 12 volt. So, the system is all from the boys at Rome Gear. He's at the Gold Coast. He is a legend because he obviously has all this in stock. I don't know many places that do keep all this stuff in stock. Um, first off, I've done a DC DC charger, which is by Enerdrive. It can do up to 50 amps of solar and DC DC car charging. Then I went to the 2000 watt inverter from them as well. It's got a remote start on the other side and then a power point is wired from this on the other side as well. Just a bit more convenient than having a power point over here. Um, 2000 watts, so I can run pretty much induction, I can run camera gear, I can run anything off grid, and it is pretty efficient. I think on full cycle, it'll draw about 170 amps, which is awesome. And then come over here to the AC charger. So this has got, obviously you plug this into the wall when you're at home, or if you're not using the canopy for long periods of time, or if you're about to go on a trip, whatever it may be, if you've drained the battery too low for some reason, plug this in, that charges at 40 amps an hour. So before I go on a trip, I normally just plug this on overnight, charge it right back up, and that's the end of it. All right, pretty much now the deck armor is installed on the top. It's pretty grippy stuff, so I can put my toasty oven there and bits and pieces, and it will not move, or well, hopefully won't move. Anyway, this is now installed. So I made a bit more room, you've noticed I've made a bit more room here so I can, when I'm over the fridge, I can put drinks and stuff here while I'm maybe moving it to over there. So that's real handy. Um, the fridge is also doing a cycle, I can hear it running now. Um, at the moment it's saying it's drawing 2.1 amps and I've got 82 hours till dead and that's only at 73%. So that is massive, that's nearly, nearly four days worth of fridge left. 
before it actually goes dead. And there's no nothing charging. Solar isn't working currently. Nothing. So that's awesome. 2.1 amps is nothing for a fridge. Um, another thing as well is while we ended up going to the Bushman fridge was one because of size. It's only a 65 or well, yeah 65 liter fridge, which is awesome. I'll see I can put all like your beers or whatever it may be there. Upright fridge is awesome for this side of the canopy. It's got a freezing zone as well, so I can freeze anything in there, ice cubes or anything, and then I'll see all your food here. Everything's adjustable, so I can move that to where I want. And then obviously you've got your set temps. But um, main overview of this is upright fridges are absolutely game changing for canopies, especially when they only draw 2.1 amps, like two amps now. And just to prove that is the fridge, I'll turn the fridge off and I'll show you that guy coming off. There we go, fridge is off. 0 0.1. So it was even, yeah, it, it was even drawing less. It was actually drawing two, well, two amps. Two amps out, which is nuts because normal fridges draw about five. So, electrical panel here, over here that I haven't got yet. You probably guys will not see that. I will post on Instagram when it is up and done. Um, speaker, everything is wired to the Switch Pro. See, I've already got water pump, roof lights, fridge, beer fridge, underglow, which is um, the canopy lights again. And then you've got the stereo and then Ox One. So Ox One is the pie oven, so. Right, that's today wrapped up, guys. This is the end to this video. If you guys liked it, Drop a comment below. Also, another thing is, if you guys have got any questions about the canopy build and what I've done, bits and pieces, drop a comment as well. Happy to answer them. But anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.